Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm going back in time. <laughs> Some of you may remember if you've been following me for a very long time, back somewhere in the first 100 videos I was experimenting with the holes in the bottom of berry containers and I'm not sure what country these came from, it might even say on here. Grown in Australia, imported strawberries. I was a bit decadent with the budget and bought strawberries in the middle of winter. How does it get any better than that? So, what I'm going to do is I want to use this bottom piece because I don't know if we can get you to see, but we've got one two, three, four, five, and six holes in this. So I'm going to sit it on there, and I'm going to put some blue tack under that. <laughs> have you ever come across me not using blue tack? I like to be have stable, stable pillars of excitement so this is just simple poster putty blue tack um, and it just normally you hang posters on the wall or things like that so we're going to sit it there hopefully create some sort of pressure that's the first bit my cross fingers hope for this and is that we're going to end up with six ring paws <laughs> by pouring one ring paw yay you think it'll work i'm not sure it will but anyway so this canvas is a what are we that 16 by 12 uh so you guys know that without a calculator, my maths is chronic. So let's do, do this over here. 16 times 12. 6 times 2 is 12. Carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 1. 2. 0. Why is my phone not doing? Mm. Hush phone. Go away. Um, so carry the 0. Six, one, so 182 millilitres apparently. So I'm going to go for at least 200 because you know, you know me, always getting far too little paint in there. So that's 200 millilitres is that high. So um, what colours am I doing? Great question. I'm going to start with white at the bottom. You know, boring. I know. Then we're going to go with my homemade crimson, um, crimson and cobalt blue mixed burgundy-ish kind of colour. Um, which dries, let me show you. Sort of a a brown red it's quite pretty still quite dark then we're going to go for ultramarine blue and we're going to go for black so I'm going to put black on the top so that we start with that and we will see what happens <laughs> ah. all right so let's move that out of the way a little bit so we can get some some paint poured. Now none of these have got silicon in them. Uh, I've been tossing up, do I put silicon in or not? I'm going to put about 50 mils of each paint just because then that's even. Oops. 
that was about 75 I told you I was going to put in more than I needed <laughs> and the blue and then the black oh crikey I am being a right royal spillage meister here now I haven't put too much black in there because I'm going to start off by pouring some black um, on the base first not much just enough to create something for it to land in and that doesn't work <laughs> uh, alright let's make sure that that comes in There we go. Those people that can make art with um, with palette knives, I take my hat off to them. It's just controlling these things is like, I don't know. I think I could do rocket science more than I could control one of these things. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, let's get this party started. So, are we reasonably centered? Should we do it centered even? Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to do it that way so that the two piles were where when we tilt we'll get a large amount down the. Yep. Good recall, good remembering. Yep, that'll do. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a spiral pour in the middle. And then hope that that spiral pour goes out the six holes. <laughs> Let's see if that works. Oh, look what that burgundy's doing some wicked ass cells. Okay. Need a bit more paint on these two. I think I'm just going to take it out like that. Ready? So I'm just going to put my hand underneath so that it doesn't drip hopefully and let's go over there ta-da that's pretty cool I'm liking it a bit more drippy on these ones but other than that pretty pleased with it Now, I've had some questions lately about refilling these butane torches. So, this is the stuff that I use. Any gas lighter refill type thing. And in the bottom of the torches that I use is this little hole. And you just stick that in up against that. I'm going to do it over here so that it doesn't go on my painting. If it does do a bit of a flare. And 
and let's put some paint more gas in there now I don't feel the need to fill it right up to the top each time this is really just boosting the bubbles because we have no silicon in there but I'd rather not have bubbles whoops if we're going to have bubbles they may as well stretch out with the rest of it right <laughs> Sorry, you went a bit fuzzy there. Okay. Now, there's a lot of black around the outside of here and not much around here. So I'm just going to top the black up a little bit around so we don't lose too much of the colour. Okay. Because as you pour your paint over a dry surface it rolls the paint under so what you need to be looking at is having more of a wet surface where possible and that's why we often do the negative space kind of pause where you completely cover your um, your canvas with paint first and that gives it something to run across or hide under depending on what you know if you're doing a flip and drag or something like that I haven't done a flip and drag for a long time maybe I should do one of those flip and drags yay alright I'm going to be running off the edges anyway, so just, there we go. I'm loving that. That's so cool. Super cool, super pretty. Okay. So I'm just going to go to the corners first. Stretch and bring it back to the middle. I'm not going to quite run off the edge. Just enough to hold it there. Bring it out to this corner. And bring it back to the center. Always bring it back to the center if you want to try and create some sort of um, round result bring your weight back to the center before tilting in another direction that's why i tend to do diagonals um because then you only have to actually center it once um I'm going to go back out to the corners again, hopefully. Run it over. Just run it over completely first. Bring it back. Oh, this is so pretty. back and while I'm bringing it back just touching up the corners and but bring it back to the center when you when you get down to just a small amount of paint like once you've stretched it out quite a bit um, it becomes less paint and it's centralized in the middle so you get more of a point flowing that's what I found anyway 
and off that last corner pop and bring it back come back all is forgiven oh. yum that my dears is stunning white is blowing out a bit though what's going on wow oh. <laughs> oh yum 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 even my fingers look cool let me see if I can show you over here without dripping on the paint. I don't want to bring it right up under the camera because it will drip. And I've done that before. No, can't do it. Wow. OMG. I love it. La, 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 love it. Oh. <sighs> You know those moments when, you know, you just want to sit down and have a celebratory cigarette or whatever it is you do. <laughs> I don't smoke anymore, but I used to. Um, and I still remember, you know, everything was like, oh. don't tell my husband I said this, but this is almost, almost as good as sex. No, no it's not. But, you know, <laughs> it feels like that. It's that whole... Oh, all right, let me get you down and show you the details because it's just not coming out good on that video. Let me get it. Hold on. Oh, I have washed my hands. It's a few seconds later. All right, this is, this, this, this is just so beautiful. I'm just so enamored. Look at that. Look at all those lines. Ah, come on, focus. No, don't do this. My hands are still a little bit wet, I think. That's what's causing it to outfocus. Look at that. That's stunning. Remember, there's no silicon in this. Oh, yum. Very little blue, though. Blue kind of disappeared, but then I didn't put a lot of blue in, did I? Definitely outcreated with the burgundy, which has gone pink. And there you go. Look, we've got that same effect again, but just with the burgundy and white. Oh, come on, focus. We've got some blue in here. Oh, what's wrong with you? Hold on. Sorry about that. I just cleaned the lens on the screen. It's just so pretty. Oh. It is quite pink, but I'm pretty sure that this camera is making it more pink than it actually is. Oh, I can see myself. Hello! <laughs> oh. oh, this is just so delicious. Wow, look at those zigzags. That's intense. I'm going to be taking photos of close-ups of this. This is just incredible. I will definitely be securing this from rat feet, that's for sure. And then in the center, we've got this bizarre little twisted thing. So vaguely like a love heart, vaguely like some sort of animal with big ears, 
or or maybe some sort of bird with you know oh, I can't find the where is it the wing over here and the beak over here oh crikey well I think that is just stunning <sighs> right let's put it in a safe place and check out whether we can capture anything yummy out of the leftovers in the pot and what's dribbled off underneath I'm not sure what's under here but I'm sure there's something pretty cool that I can capture because I haven't done any cabochons for ages all right so here we go okay let's start with this and um i don't know about you but i can see like a baby in the womb but also down in here can you see my flying saucer <laughs> ah, so much fun all right the first thing that is jumping out at me that wants to be captured is this bit here now it wants to be diagonal on a square um so i'm gonna do that first off and this is my um signature technique i developed this one well, i think i was the first one to show it at least on camera dipping the cabochons into the wet paint there's a link in the description Ooh, look at the back of that one hey that's so cool looks like some sort of bird um there's a link in the description on how to do all this there's also links um in my um in the description to find them on amazon through my amazon shop uh oh, that's left a funky result as is often the case what should we do now um go for a love heart let's do that interesting where are you there starting to get a bit white coming through there uh, I'm kind of thinking I might do a big rectangle running out of those I need to order some more if you use the link at my Amazon shop link it doesn't cost you any more and it means that Amazon gives me like 4% of your spend to spend and um that's how I pay for my cabochons so and other bits and pieces that I use in my videos that's pretty pretty funky Ooh, what did it leave behind? Now, I also want to remind you guys, every painting is different. Please, please, please do not try and get an exact replica of anybody else's painting. These things cannot be replicated. I would not be able to replicate this okay if I got the same container and the same size it, it did everything supposedly the same it wouldn't come out the same 
please know that your paint mixture might be different to mine your berry container might be different your thickness your they're all different please 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 do not beat yourself up if you cannot recreate what i create or what any other painter online creates now this is where i sat that after i took it off the painting and check out some of those they're quite funky i'm gonna tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna dip around one in there where's the camera hello camera so we've got that funky liney thing going on and what i want to do now is do some matching earrings <laughs> I wonder if I could dip two at the same time. Do you think that would work? Let me see. Okay, so I've got... Where are you? Two little round cabochons. And I'm going to try and dip them in there. Let's see what we get. <laughs> A mess is probably the end result. Ah, uh, and then I put my finger in it. No, smushed. Smushed is the end result of that. Ah, uh, frustration. Because I've just used up that area. That's annoying. One of them survived. Check this out. Ah, uh, those are so hard to do. I might come in here and do from in there just a little bit. Clean off the blue tack so it'll actually wet blue tack does not hold cabochons by the way. <laughs> just a hint. Hint and tip. Hints for the day. Okay, so what I've found is the best way to do the blue tack is to make sure that the blue tack is smaller than the cabochon. See how there's room around it for me to put my fingers and grab. So I'm going to go in, go in here, and then and just try another one. You do need to make sure that the back of the, the flat part of the cabochon is clean before you dip it. Because once you put paint over the top, you can't get in underneath and clean it off. Oh, that one's clean and nice and pretty. I'm going to do one more just in case the other one isn't as good as I would like it. Where is another liney part that I can use?
Come on. Oh, look at that. Yummy. Okay, so I've got those all sitting there. I'm just wondering what else is there. What else is there? Oh, there's so much. God, it's so pretty. Now that's on plastic, so I'm really tempted just to leave it to dry as it is. Because I'll be able to peel it off again once it's dry. And I won't lose it and I'll be able to come back and pick bits out later. It's so pretty. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. And I am going to love and leave until this is all dry. And then I'll come back and show you the dry result in three, two, one. Okay, it's finally dry. Crikey, I must have left that really thick because it took a long time to dry. So let's have a look it is so pretty it's still so pretty i just love this so much um ah uh, yummy 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 let's go in there's only little bits of blue showing through there's like that little eye point there um if we get the angle right this little swirly bit has a blue hue to it and where did I spot the other? Oh, that's right. Over here. In these ones, there's some blue showing through. But really, I just think the intricacy of this is just so delicious. I just... Oh, yum, 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 yum. Well, I have spent the last... Oh, all afternoon coming up with names for the paintings for my exhibition um, and so if you guys have got an idea for a name for this piece I would love to hear it in the comments um, but those all that definition that I showed you before is just all still there look at that it's just so delicious. It's yummy. Yummy, 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 yummy. I like it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. It's so pretty. It's so pretty and nice. Ah, anyway, there we go. That is my... <sighs> I love this piece. I really love this piece. Even though it's gone pink. <laughs> well, it started out burgundy, but it didn't stay that way. As soon as the white hit it, the pink came out. The crimson that it truly be showed up. And uh, But I still love it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, anyway, guys, I adore you. We are very close to going live Europe time zone. So stay tuned to the emails if you are um, signed up on the newsletter. It should come through very shortly. If you're not, you've got maybe a couple of hours to get signed up if you're watching this early. Uh, mickeyart.co.nz forward slash sign up. And... Um, I look forward to you guys coming to play. Yay. See you soon. Have fun. Bye-bye.